So today was call update for the Yankees. I mean, they called up Luis Gill or Luis Hill and then two other minor league relievers who replaced him <laughs> to, to beat the Orioles 13-1. to <clears throat> And uh, he threw five innings, oh, six innings, actually. No runs, had six strikeouts. And he was he was pretty sharp, actually. He showed poise, he showed command. He was, you know, hitting the punch in the strike zone and, uh, you know, was fearless. And, and he did, you know, a much better job than Andrew Heaney did, I'll tell you, on, that, on that, that same Baltimore Orioles lineup. And this is more like the Yankees should be beating up these guys right now. You know, we had a Stanton, two for five with a home run, four RBIs. Although we need him to, to, to you know, hit home runs when it counts more, not essentially during garbage time. So, you know, we need to hit, we need them to hit key home runs when they're tied, put them up in a lead, you know, kind of like Odor-type home runs. We need more of those from Stanton. We know he can do it. Judge hit a home run. Torres had uh, quite a few hits. I mean, it was, it was an up and down offensive attack across the board today with the Yankees and they capitalized on some mistakes and just got some key hits and they pounded them 13 to 1 you know and uh, it was a hell of a win and it was good to see you know the, the, the kid come up and pitch really really well and the kids in the bullpen pitch really really well so they had to call up a couple guys not only the Cole test positive but uh, Jordan Montgomery tested, tested positive for COVID too so two of our you know key starters are out for a little bit and uh, you know they're they're on a mandatory 10-day quarantine, but if they if they uh, get two negative tests prior to that 10-day period, then they can come back early. But we'll see what happens there. I mean, they're at least going to probably miss. They're probably gonna, each going to miss two starts. So, but hopefully they come back healthy and better. So, um, you know, all in all, again, a good a good win by the Yankees. And actually, in the last 25 games, they're 17 and eight. So. They've been on a good roll recently, which is which is good. So, but you know, they, they still need to exercise a little bit more patience at the lineup. You know, and I know Rizzo coming here and Gallo coming here, and Gallo hasn't really found his really slugger footing yet. He will. I don't. I don't. I don't doubt that. Um, they're going to add some patience and more discipline to the lineup because the Yankees, just like yesterday, they have a tendency to make six point eight ERA guys look like Cy Young Award winners and. It's embarrassing sometimes with the lineup that they have. So they can't keep doing that. And uh, so it was good to see that today to kind of them kind of erupt on this team that they should be erupting on. So, you know, hopefully they take the series tomorrow. I mean, I think they have Seattle after this. So uh, tough. Um, they're going to be pretty tough. I mean, they always are. And they're a good team this year. They're actually a contending team for that, at least, the, at the very least, the wild card spot. So, you know, they, they're going to give the Yankees a little bit of the challenge, more so than the Orioles, but again, a good win for the Yankees, and uh, we need some more wins like this. I mean, we it, it would be nice if they went on a little bit of a run here and like won 15 out of 20 or something like that, or whatever, 22 out of 30. That would be phenomenal if they could do that and really put themselves on good footing and really close the gap in the American League East and, and, and in the wild card too, so... Because um, it's going to go, it, I think it's going to go down to the wire. I mean, you have teams like the A's who improved at the deadline. They're going to go right down to the wire. So, you know, uh, or it could be Houston. Who knows? I, but I think Houston will probably hold on with the division. But then you have either the Rays or the Blue Jays or the Red Sox in the American League East. So, you know, the Yankees have to finish at worst second place in the American League East. At worst, they compete for one of the two wild card spots. Because I think the other one's probably going to come out of the West. So, you know, I, I I see Chicago probably running away with the division, and uh, but who knows? Crazier things can happen. But again, good win for the Yankees. It's good to see one of their young, highly touted prospects come up, pitch well. Hopefully, gets another opportunity. Hopefully, he does it again. And um, you know, maybe they'll learn from this too. They, they, maybe they learn to maybe give some of their younger players a shot. You know, especially ones that aren't highly touted like this. Don't be afraid to put them out there. Really, don't be afraid to. I mean, there's a lot of, they have a lot of talent in the system. So they really do. And it's, unfortunately, it takes something like this <laughs> to get them an opportunity. But at least they showed, or he showed, and even those kids, they showed, you know, what they can do. So um, hopefully that helps build confidence in the Yankees' side to give these young kids more chances. So, um, yeah. So that's the recap. 13-1, to a, an ass-kicking. A necessary ass kicking, and the Yankees were not on the receiving side; they were on the kicking of the ass side. So, fantastic there. Okay, got a video coming out tomorrow morning. I think you'll enjoy it. So, be on the lookout. Talk to you next time.